What's up students and staff at Valverde High School and Valverde Academy. I'm Angel and welcome to the Nightline News Show. What's good Knights, I'm Miguel and this news show is for this week of September 16th through September 20, 2024. And hey Angel, aren't you a famous TikToker with a couple million views? Bro, I got a couple views. Oh yeah? But yeah. let me put you on the spot bro. If you really want to give your viewership more, you got to put a picture of a puppy dog, bro. Trust me, man. You're going to get more views with that, bro. I'll think about that, bro. But I think we got to get some views on the show. Whatever, so I think man. we should get started, bro. Yeah. Let's get things started with Mr. McCarrick. Good morning, Valverde Knights. It is your counselor, Mr. McCarrick, for the alphabets L through Z. We just finished the halfway point of quarter one. So please finish strong for the rest of this quarter. If you didn't like your grade at the halfway point, Please keep turning in work, get that grades up, so that by the end of the quarter, you get the full 22.5 credits. Now, credit recovery did start, and we gave you all your information needed last week. If you still have your credit recovery form, please turn it in to me or Mr. Voltier, so we have it on file. And please keep attending Tuesdays and Thursdays, 2.30 to 4. If we gave you that credit recovery class, that's an extra opportunity to get extra credit. So please take advantage of that. That's all I have for this week. Thank you guys. Hey students, if you drive to school, please park your car in the student parking lot in front of the school and not in the staff parking lot. Thank you, Mr. McCurry. And what's up, seniors? ASB will having the senior breakfast this month on Friday, September 20th. The cost is 20 bucks per person. For more information on it, please see Mrs. Kubota in room 307. Now here's one of our school counselors, Mr. V, with some cool news for us. Hey, what's going on, Knights? Happy Monday and welcome back for another week. Thanks for being here. Hopefully, uh, those of you that are signed up for credit recovery, that you're rocking and rolling those classes and you're getting them, uh, those classes done. Uh, so work hard, finish strong. Uh, again, like Mr. McCarrick just mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, uh, we're at the halfway point. And so hopefully you're, you've reflected and hopefully you've looked at where you are right now and where you wanna be. And, um, and again, let's, let's finish strong, all right? I come to you today with something that's very near and dear to my heart. September happens to be Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Now this is very near and dear to me because my oldest son is a two-time cancer survivor. Back in 2013, when he was five years old, he was diagnosed with cutaneous B-cell lymphoma. He fought hard twice, and his last chemo treatment was in 2016. But during our time that we fought, during his time that he fought, we stumbled upon this foundation called the Jesse Reese Foundation. Jesse Joy Reese was an amazing fighter. She fought brain tumors, and unfortunately, she passed away though. But during her fight, for one year, during her fight, she wanted to give back. She wanted to give joy to those that were in the hospital also fighting cancer. And so she would create joy jars stuffed with toys and, and knickknacks and goods because they didn't get to leave the hospital. And she would hand deliver these joy jars to their hospital rooms. She started, her family started the Jesse Reese Foundation in honor of her. And she had a motto. Her motto was Nigu, never ever give up, Nigu. And she, and she lived by that motto her entire fight. When my son Isaiah was fighting cancer, we joined the Jesse Reese Foundation. We joined this Nigu challenge and uh, it provided him lots of joy during his fight. They now have a, uh, a foundation that gives back to lots of kids every, every year. Sadly, every week, nearly 300 kids are diagnosed with cancer. Every week in the US. It's a staggering number, guys, and it's sad. This month, during September, every year, there's a generous donor that donates money to the foundation every time someone takes the I Need You Challenge. So I wanna to talk to you about that today, and I want you to join me in this challenge. Now, if you go to uh, nigu.org slash challenge, they have information on how you can get involved. And right now, during the month of September, every time that someone posts on social media this, this phrase, I need you, and whether it's this download, whether it's this paper um, that says that I, uh, I need you, do you, 
or whether it's on your hands, like some famous people have done before, and they write I need you on their hands. And every time they post a picture and post it on their social media with the hashtag of I need you, hashtag I need you, the generous donor will give $25 every time someone posts a picture um, with that hashtag in that picture. So please help me out. Please help children out uh, fighting cancer all over the world. I say this for two reasons. And I bring up I need you for two reasons. Some of you are in your classes and some of you are struggling with grades. Some of you are way behind in credits. But I want you to live by this motto. Never ever give up. Nigu. It's simple. And think about the millions of kids that are fighting cancer every day. And think about how you can also fight as well. And so don't ever give up. When you feel like you, you are hopeless and you feel like you can't graduate, when you feel like you can't pass a class, remember that. Nigu. Never ever give up. Alright guys? So help me with this challenge. Again, Nigu, never ever give up. And uh, I need you, the I need you challenge. Well, we'll provide information um, on this video somewhere. So, uh, all right guys, that's all I have. Okay, let's, let's finish off this month strong and I'll see you guys later, bye. Thank you, Mr. V. Here is some more ASB news. In a few months, there will be a senior field trip to Nasbury Farm on a Friday, December 6th. The cost is $60. And that's why we're letting you know now to save up. Now, here's Mr. Sievers with some important information for us. Good morning, Knights. Mr. Sievers here. Hey, we are down halfway through the grading period. We just submitted your progress reports this last Friday. Keep up the strong work. If you need help and support, make sure you come see us, Ms. Whitmer any of the adults about signing up for value time. The purpose of that is to help you make sure you get your passing grades. So if you forget to sign up for value time or whatever reason may be, remember the tutorial to help you with that goes through lunch. So you'll have to stay through the value time and through lunch to learn how to make sure you don't forget and sign up for value time. So please make sure we begin that process now. We've been doing it now for a couple of weeks. Everyone should be aware and know how, and uh, so the tutorial lasts through lunch. So please make sure that is done for value time moving forward. Keep up the good work with tardies. We're doing a really good job with that. And those of you that are, uh, have been coming in for parking passes, I appreciate that. Make sure we pick up our trash and be aware. We are facing some weather changes and some extreme uh, air quality conditions. So don't do anything and make sure you breathe really hard. Leave early to class so you don't have to, uh, you know, exert, uh, exert yourself breathing and, you know, the, the air quality is not good with all the wildfires right now. And that's all I have right now and keep up the good work. Hey students, the PLUS team will be hosting a Lotteria game on Tuesday the 17th at lunch. We'll see you there. Thank you, Mr. Sievers. Hey students, do you need a job? If you do, Mr. Muhammad has a list of jobs in the Marina Valley, Paris, and Riverside areas. If you would like to find out more information, please see him in room 302. Hey, have you checked out the graphics class there at Val? If you haven't, here is Mr. Samante with some information about the program. What's up guys, this is Mr. Samante here. Uh, I am the instructor for the CTE Graphics Production and Manufacturing uh, here at Valverde High School. Uh, if you guys wanna come and take a look, this is some amazing stuff that we do here. We are setting up a more so, not a classroom environment, but more of an in industry type environment. We do everything from screen printing, a print shop, we have a graphics lab as well, and embroidery. Everything that we do here is not just only to give you guys credits, it's more so to give you a hands-on understanding of what the industry is expecting for you. So when you come in here, this is more of a career-oriented uh, orientated uh, classroom setting. So what we try to give you guys is industry knowledge and understanding of what the expectations are, especially when you graduate from here. Uh, the CT program here also allows you guys to even get into several different types of internships and entry-level jobs in the print shops around the Southern California area. So if you guys are looking to do something after you're graduating that you want to do with print shops, uh, screen printing, graphics, we definitely offer that for you guys here. So everything we'll show you guys here for the students to also understand and see what they're doing here is going to be a good idea for you guys. So. Thank you, Mr. Samante. Hey, students, would you like to earn extra elective units? 
Well, here is your chance to join Team Vision. This is a great after-school program where you can earn extra elective units and community service hours to help film football games. So here are Mr. Garcia and Mr. Nunez who have some important information for us. What's up everybody, my name is Mr. Garcia. And I'm Mr. Nunez, and we are the Team Vision instructors here to invite anyone who is interested in joining our after school video production program. This is a great opportunity to get involved and get hands-on experience in a live event environment. We travel to several locations within our district and even outside servicing our community. This is a great program not only to help you develop your soft skills, but prepare you for tomorrow's job market. This will also help you earn 10 hours of community service needed to graduate. Say you need to earn additional five elective credits, we can help you achieve that as well. If you're interested, come and see Mr. Garcia in room 404 to pick up a permission slip, and we hope to see you there. Hey students, Coach Vance wants you to know that softball starts on October 10th. This is for boys and girls. Meet on the field after school. And thank you, Mr. Garcia and Mr. Nunez. Now here's Ms. Whitmer with some important information for us. Hey Knights, this is Ms. Whitmer, your PBIS coach. Just wanting to pop in here and remind you to get out those Chromebooks, get out your phone. Let's get that um, value time signed up for, um, for Tuesdays and Thursdays this week. Also want to remind you that we will have the Wednesday PBIS store after school on your way out in room 411. And a quick congratulations to the 10 students that got the Students with Values Awards from their teachers. I appreciate you, have an excellent week, and keep showing your values. Thank you, Ms. Whitman. Hey, do you guys like to play video games? If you do, then join our eSports team. Now we're here with Mr. Garcia again with more information on joining. Hey, what's up, Valverde? My name is Mr. Garcia. I am the coach here uh, for our eSports team. If you guys are interested in playing games like Overwatch or Super Smash Brothers, and you guys are looking to play competitively against other schools in our district and other schools outside of our district, come talk to me in room 404. Uh, I am looking for players and uh, this next season is starting off very, very soon. I'll see you later. Thank you, Mr. Garcia. Now here's our school principal, Mrs. Dido, with some final school news for us. Happy Monday, Valverde High and Valverde Academy Knights. It's Mrs. Dido, your principal, and this week I want to talk to you about a few things. Number one, students, you're doing an absolute great job. Thank you. We just had our progress reports, uh, grades. Teachers submitted them last Friday, and many of you are doing great. I do want to advise those of you that are new to us. Remember, we are on a quarter system, and we move very fast here. So we're already halfway through the first quarter. That means that you have just a little over a month to make sure that you pull things together. And I can tell you that for the most part, if you're not doing well, a lot of that is due to absences and tardies. So students, please, I know you've heard me say it before, please try to make it to school each and every single day. Don't sleep in, make sure you're getting up on time, you're taking the bus or you're making an arrangement to get to school here every day on time, first period. And once you're here, I still have too many of you taking time when the bell rings and walking into class just as the bell is ringing or shortly thereafter. And I'm letting you know that I've We've uh, had some tardy sweeps where some of you have got caught up. Again, we're gonna continue doing that because we need you in class to be able to learn, to be able to help you, you gotta be there. And so I really just wanna focus on making sure you are in class every day. Make good decisions, be safe, make sure that you are bringing a water bottle and you are hydrating. I want everybody to have a great week. Well, that's it for this new show. Make sure you're watching our Val's YouTube channel and please subscribe at VVUSD Team Vision. And well, I'm a go. And I'm Angel. Until next week, nights. Same night time. And same night channel. Goodbye. Peace.